Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about introduction to graphs in data structures and algorithms. A graph is a non-linear data structure. Non-linear means data will not stay arranged in a linear or sequential fashion. A graph contains a set of points called as nodes or vertices and set of links called as edges or arcs. This is an example of graph where the circled entities are called as vertices and the lines are called as edges. Formally, an individual element of a graph is called as a vertex or node and edge is a connecting link between any two vertices. An edge can be represented as a pair comprising a starting vertex and the ending vertex. Formally, you can represent a graph as G is equal to V, E where V is the set of vertices and E is the set of edges. So, vertices can be written as A, B, C, D, E. So, we know that the circled entities are called as vertices. So, totally we have five vertices A, B, C, D and E. And edges we have seven. That is, we can represent it as pairs which comprises starting vertex and the ending vertex. So, we can write it as a pair a b a c a d b d c d b e and e d so next is the types of graphs so we can categorize the graphs into two types one is undirected graph and another one is directed graph an undirected graph contains bidirectional edges that is no direction associated with them it will be having an undirected edge. So, we can see the example of undirected edge here. We have two vertices U and V and we have a line connecting these two vertices but we don't have a direction. We can either consider it from U to V or V to U. So, this is the example of undirected graph. We have three vertices and edges we have three pairs. You can write it as 1, 2, 2, 3 or 3, 1. We can also write in other way that is 2, 1, 3, 2 and 1, 3. Next is directed graph. Here the edges are directed from one vertex to another vertex. So there will be a directed edge between two vertices. So we have V, U and V. Uh, the connecting line has a direction. We have direction from U to V, not reverse. So, the directed graph can be represented like this. We have three vertices and the edges can be represented as a pair according to the direction. So, we have directional link from 2 to 1. So, we are writing 2, 1 and 1 to 3. So, 1, 3 and 3 to 2. That is 3, 2. Next is the degree of a graph. So, it is the number of edges that go inside or outside from a particular node. So, for undirected graphs, the degree is the number of edges attached to the particular node and the total degree of the graph will be equal to twice the number of edges. So, here we have an example uh, with the degrees associated. So, the numbers represented within the braces is called as degree. So, we can see that for node 1, we have 2 degree. That means we have 2 lines incident on it. So, we can see 2 lines coming into that particular node. For 2 also we have 2 lines coming into that particular node and for 3 we have 3 lines. This one, this one and this one and 4 also 2 and for 5 we have 3, this one, this one and this one. So, total degree of the graph will be represented as 2 into E, twice the number of edges. So, number of edges we have is 6, that is 6 lines we have. So, 2 into 6 is equal to 12. Or either we can sum up all the degrees to get the total degree. Next, for directed graph, we have two types of degrees. One is in degree and another one is out degree. In degree is the number of incoming edges. And out degree is the number of outgoing edges. So, for this particular node 3, the number of uh, edges coming into 3, that is only 1. Incident on that particular node is only 1. So, that is called as in degree of 3 is equal to 1. 
out degree of 3 means how many number of lines going out of 3. So, we have 2 lines. So, that is out degree of 3 is equal to 2. Next is a weighted graph. So, in a weighted graph, a weight is associated with each edge of the graph. So, it normally indicates the distance between the two vertices. So, this diagram shows the weighted graph. It is similar to the normal graph except that we can see a number associated with the each pair of links. So, this number is called as weight. A weighted graph can be either a directed graph or undirected graph. And if no weights are assigned, then we assume that unit weight. That is, we can assume one is assigned to the uh, links of the vertices. Next, representation of graph. We have two representation of graphs. One is adjacency matrix and another one is adjacency list. Adjacency matrix is nothing but mapping of vertices and edges of a particular graph. So, in this matrix, vertices of the graph is representing the rows and columns. So, if the graph has n vertices, then the size of the graph will be n by, size of the matrix will be n by n. So, if V is a set of vertices of the graph, then the intersection M i j uh, will be 1. That means there is an edge existing between vertex i and vertex j. So, we can see the example. So, here we have an undirected graph. So, this is the adjacency matrix. So, from A to A, we do not have any link. So, it is 0. So, from A to B, we have a link. So, it is represented as 1. And from A to C, no link. So, 0 and A to D also no link. So, 0 and A to E, yes, we have a link. So, it is 1. So, if there is an edge connecting between the two uh, vertices, then we represent it as 1. Else, we will represent it as 0. So, similarly, for other rows and columns, we have to do. And uh, next, for directed graph, we have to consider the direction. So, if there is a directional link between the two vertices, we represent 1 or otherwise we will represent it as 0. So, from A to A, we do not have any directional link. From A to B, yes, we have. So, write it as 1. From A to C, no, we do not have any connecting link. So, 0. From A to D, we have a line, but it is not directed from A to D. So, it is 0. And from A to E, yes, it is there. So, it is 1. Similarly, we have to write for other uh, rows and columns. Next is representation of adjacency matrix for a weighted graph. So, weighted graph, we know that we have an integer called weight associated with each edge. So, we can represent that weight in the adjacency matrix for the edge if it exists. So, we can see here. So, from A to A, we do not have any link. So, from A to B, we have a link. So, associated weight is 4. Instead of writing 1, we are writing the weight. So, if the edge exists, then we have to write the weight. If the edge does not exist, then we have to write 0. That is it. So, next is representation of graph in terms of adjacency list. So, an adjacency list is a linked list and each node in the list represents a vertex. So, the presence of the edge between two vertices is denoted by a pointer from first vertex to the second vertex. So, it is maintained for each vertex in the graph. So, when we have traversed all the adjacent nodes of a particular uh, vertex, then we can store null in the next pointer field. So, here is an example. We have the adjacency list representation for undirected graph. So, first we will consider node A. What are its adjacent elements means? We have B and E. Okay. So, A is the node which contains the adjacent element as B and E. So, we can see from A you have B and B will be pointing the address of the E. Okay. And after E, we do not have uh, any adjacent element for A. So, we are marking it as null. Next, if you consider B, what are the adjacent elements of B? That is, B is having lines to A, E and C. So, we have represented it as A, C and E. And after that, we do not have anything. So, mark it as null. Similarly, if we see C, we have the lines to B and D. So, it is represented and the last node is represented as null. 
So similarly, we have to do it for another uh, nodes. Next for this is the example of directed graph. So we have to consider direction in representing the list. So if we consider A from A, what are the directional links going to other nodes? So it is going to B and E. So we are representing it. And after the last node, represent it as null. And for B, it is C and D. So that is the directional link from B. Uh, we have only two. And if we consider C, we don't have any outgoing edges from C. So it is represented as null. And for other nodes, we have to represent in the same way. So that's all about uh, introduction to graphs. Thank you.